Okay, y'all, come on in. Yep, I'm doing something besides cook today. I just want to drop in for a minute just to let y'all know. You do know that summer is ending and fall is about to come in. So this is the tail end of summer. Uh, this place setting here. I thought, you know what? Let me set a table uh, for summer to say bye-bye to summer and hello to fall. And y'all know I'm a very eclectic person. I've told y'all before. So, you know, I thought about all these dishes and whatever I have sitting in my uh, china cabinet. Take them out and set a nice table to remind us that summer has been beautiful. It's been hot. It's been wonderful. But it's about to get away from us now. So just an idea of if you want to have your girlfriends over and just have a nice little sit-down luncheon. Um, and I've got my eclectic style of table setting here for four people. So I thought it would just be something nice, a nice little break away from cooking for right now. Of course, I've, I've got to cook something to go in these dishes, but just something uh, to remind you, all those dishes that you got in your china cabinet, you don't have, they don't have to all be matched up, matchy matchy. This is so eclectic. This depression glass little dessert bowl here I've had forever and a day. I acquired these uh, Port Marion plates here that I use for lunch uh, plates all the time. So I just put them together and see what a beautiful table you can make. I've got my mimosa glasses, my Crystal Dark uh, mimosa glass. I've had these glasses for over 40 or 50 years and I rarely use them. But then when I do think about using them, I'm thinking, I don't really, you know, you're supposed to do champagne or do mimosas and i thought why not mimosa even if it's a virgin mimosa and these little amber color glasses here they match and pull in and they can also be used in the fall but for the most part this is my summer look when i want to set up a table and of course my uh, nice glass pitcher there that i would serve either orange juice or the mimosas from so Drag some of that pretty stuff out of those china cabinets and make you up a nice table. Now, because fall is almost here, I'm going to bring in a little fall decor. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Think about all those beautiful, wonderful table settings that you've got in your cabinet and pull them out. Make this year fun and uh, enjoyable because I think we're going to be in for some uh, weather and we've already tried to weather the storm of uh, the pandemic and all those kind of things. So bring those nice dishes on out. We got the holidays coming up. But this is just to say bye-bye uh, to a beautiful, wonderful, scorching hot summer. And we're going to welcome in the fall. So this is my bye-bye summer look. And I am going to have some girlfriends probably this weekend. But I just wanted to... Uh, let you know that this is something you can do and everything does not have to match to the letter because this is from different times some of this stuff is 40 years old on the table like the um flatware i just purchased that this year oh and these little see little stuff like this that i love if you can guess what that is those are place card holders how many times have i used those place card holders probably 10 out of 40 years. So what I thought, okay, I'm gonna stick a napkin under it and let it be a napkin holder. And just something to help decorate the look that I've created here for the end of summer. So take those things out of the um, china cabinet and use them, use them, use them, cook up some good food, some a nice salad, a pan of spaghetti, a lasagna, uh, some nice chicken breast, over some rice and a salad, anything that you want to fix up to go. And my table is big enough that I could serve the food right from the table. So come, you can come up with all different kinds of ideas. Uh, just go in your china cabinet and it will spark your imagination about setting up. And it feels so good when you go have dinner somewhere and they've got the uh, table all set up with some nice dishes. And this is something so, so simple. Okay, so stay tuned, y'all, and I'm going to bring out my fall decor, which is coming. I mean, fall is right here, so I'll be using my fall things when I want to set up a nice table. Uh, one thing about my children, when I start going to China Cabinet, and they did this from childhood, Mom, don't bring out all that China stuff. We have to 
clean it up and be careful with putting it. But I don't mind them using it. You know, I really don't, I don't mind using it at all. But anywho, we're gonna, I'm going to use it a little bit more because I think this is so pretty and so heartwarming. So stay tuned. Fall is up next. Okay, y'all, just so you can see where I'm coming from, open up those china cabinets and drag those dishes out of there that you've been had sitting in there forever and a day. Yep, I'm dragging them out today. And I'm going to do some place settings. This is where I'm pulling all this from. It's right out of my own cabinet. I need not go to the store. And I'm sure y'all probably got those nice big old china cabinets that are full of everything from A to Z. And heaven knows I've got it in here. I have given off away stuff, but I still got plenty of stuff in here. So we're going to put, we're going to empty out. We're going to pull out some place settings and put some of these beautiful things to use. Yep, I've given stuff away to my girls as they wanted it. But I still got lots of stuff left. This is sort of my little stash of stuff and i mean you look at every drawer how many of y'all got all this stuff candles napkins um gift bags all this stuff put this stuff to use i'm getting ready to put mine to use y'all um uh, some of it's organized and some of it's not but we're getting ready now so i'm going to use this is another one of my place settings i'm going to use it and um it is called, well, let's turn it right side up, it's Prevere. I purchased this in Spain. I was in Spain 40, what? Oh, 40, how many years ago? 47 years ago. And I've had this china. I had another set that I never used and it got broken up. So I'm getting ready to use this china and I've used this over the years with the kids. This is a set the kids used to just dread me taking out and using. And I used it for Sunday dinner and for holidays and stuff like that. They just dreaded it because they didn't want to bother with trying, having to be able, uh, having to be responsible for washing it and drying it and put it back in the china cabinet. So here we go, y'all. Stay tuned. And we're going to do a short, another fall um, table set in the, on the kitchen table. So hang tight and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to start bringing the other stuff for the fall look for the kit. All this is in the kitchen uh, table. So we're going to take this stuff to the kitchen. Um, this could be a for six months. Let's turn my TV down. I'm looking at Jeff Lewis. I love his, uh, he's a designer and decorator. As you can see, I got stuff all over the table here. So we're just going to come straight back from here. And I'm just going to start putting <clears throat> this together with all of my uh, things. Uh, hang on just a minute. Let me see. Can I get uh, a little stand for this camera? I'm walking around holding it. If I can just find the camera stand. Let's see. Where's the camera stand, y'all? I don't know where it is right now. It's just not coming to me wherever I put it. Where, 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 where can it be? Y'all see I've got stuff moved out of the way so that I can get over here to my table without, um, let's see. I got stuff pulled out now, but when I put it on, in a few minutes, everything's going to be together. So y'all just hang tight. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm getting ready to have my grilled cheese sandwich, some grapes, and a coffee banana uh, smoothie because I got hungry while I was working. So y'all hang tight, and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. This is going to be a fall look. So I've got some of my uh, Premier China. It's called Fanta Canton Fair. At least 40, let's see, I was in Spain in 1975. So this is purchased in 1975. So y'all have to do the math for me right now. So this is a Canton Fair. 
design. I gave Tanya half of his set. <clears throat> uh, play setting for... I think I had play setting for 14. I think I gave her six. So she could have a complete set. So she liked this one. Sort of match with her decor. So, like I said, I got a china full of, cabinet full of stuff. But I, you know, I give the girls what they've pretty much asked for so far. So anyway, what I'm going to start with, <clears throat> what I like to start with, of course, is going to be, I use a table mat always versus just a tablecloth. This table is granite. So, you know, I, I kind of am careful about uh, putting things on it that will break. So what I do is try to do a placemat or of some kind. So this is, this place, these placemats here are made out of like a shell and I broke one, but fortunately I was able to put it back together. So put it on that side, we got it back together again. So what I like to start with here, um, just to show y'all, and I'll be, you know, chiming in and I, by the way, I hope y'all are having a God blessed Tuesday. Seem kind of strange I'm doing this kind of stuff and not cooking. So what I like to start with is the plate. If I get my plate placed on there to see just where I want it, you know, get it all situated. And I've got my flatware out, of course, and I've got some other pieces out here that I'm gonna to use to fill in to decorate. So that plate, let me see. Yeah. Next, I'll come with a salad plate and a soup bowl. So this is how this setting is going to go. All right. And then I'm going to have a, <clears throat> I've got my little place card holes. I'm going to use these again. Then I'm going to come in, um, with my a, a cup and a saucer. So let me move it over. Get my cup and my saucer. So I'm laying my foundation pretty much. Starting from the placemats to the plate to the salad plate to the um, soup bowl. So let me grab uh, I've got sauces. I can grab my cups. See I'll hold on one second. <clears throat> I grab some cups just in case somebody wants a hot cup of coffee while we're sitting. So we'll sit for the time being. I may move it and place it somewhere else, but you know, uh, as we use etiquette and how to's and all those kind of things, we'll do it according to that. But if you want to switch up, you know, I figure even like when I'm cooking, I'm thinking I'm cooking, I'm the chef, my meal, my choice. I don't get too far out of line with what general regular everybody else does etiquette goes as far as setting the table or how to cook things but you know you have to be innovative and kind of different i you know i i, I kind of sort of like to think outside the box a little bit and get things going in another direction so we're going to keep right on going so i'm going to pan right over to i'm going to do that setting across from there let's see what this is doing Okay, so let's keep going. <clears throat> so, I've also got my glasses. I'm just going to push back on this a little bit. we go back over here somewhat. Okay, I've got glasses. So, we're going to see what all we can fit in on this table setting. Okay, I've got my water glass. Okay, which we know goes here. And we're going to also place a wine glass. I have to correct me about where I'm placing, but see, I've got limited space if y'all are noticing. Over here where I've got my coffee cup, I'm just going to sit it there. And of course, whenever we get ready to use the coffee cup, all this is going to be gone and out of the way anyway. So we're not going to worry a whole lot about that. So now we've got our footwear. 
So we can come on in now with the flatware. And it says just barely room on this placemat for that. And of course we gotta have a napkin. And so if this, this looks like a sort of a formal table, so you know, we could put our um, name uh, place card holder. We could place it there. We could go there, and you know, we could st we could use it for the for the napkin as well as for the uh, place card. And if we want to put the napkin right under there, like so, we can do it like that. Or to, like I said, had it before, we can just, and I can pull this back and we can do it like this. And we just sort of play with it and until we get it looking like we want it looking. And we'll, but we got to get the basic foundation going first, y'all. Okay? So you all see where I'm going with this. So as many different things as you have to decorate with, you might have that many ideas as to how you're going to decorate. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go over here to this place right here. I'm going to do that one. Okay. So we pretty much got that and you can't really see it that well. So this is what I want to be doing throughout. It's just to start, you know, like I say, building my foundation, getting things Now that I know that I can get that many items on to the table, I feel good to just, you know, just keep it moving. Just, just go right ahead with it and just start placing things as we go. So, and then we'll get our plates going. Okay. So we're just going to go around the table and do the same identical thing until we get everything in place as we want it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, now I've got to go around the table. I need to grab another soup bowl. Okay. I need a soup bowl from over here. Nope, nope, nope. From over here. Soup bowls are here. Get it going. Am I one plate short? I think I am one plate. I don't think I only bought only. I need to go. Oh, no, no. I've got it right here. I'm not one plate short. Okay. <clears throat> I got one that goes on that end there. So I've pretty much got all of my foundation pieces together and I'll move this server here because I'm, I'm going to try to put some serving pieces on there. I've got my coffee, since I got my coffee cups out here, I've also got my creamer and my sugar bowl there. Try to get some more things going. And as I said, we got all these pieces here going. Now, this piece here is a tray. I may or may not be able to leave that tray there. We'll see when we get it all done and see if it's going to make sense. But to have that tray sitting in the middle of the table, and I've got my little birds here. When I think of the name of this company, this stuff here is probably, let's see, over 50 years old. Remember when we used to have those house parties? And you bought, and this this is like 60 years old in this state looking just like that. I cannot for the life of me think of what the name of that is. But I'll think, if I think of it, I'll let you know. So y'all hang tight, and I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and finish putting this together. This is just in the interest of saving time, y'all. Okay, we're done with our second look. This is a kind of a light fall look here that we got going on. Uh, this is with my Premier... Um, china this i guess this would be my antique because it's almost 50 years old the glasses included everything on this table is about 50 years old um 
near and dear to my heart because my husband picked it out especially uh, these pieces here i just love these are serving pieces so you can you know put food in there i used to do potato salad in that one and veggies in that one and then use a big old tray for the meat and we can serve it right from the table and of course my crystal dark i think that's how you say it glasses or about 50 years old so all these are my little antiques here out of my china cabinet and these are things that i've used over the years not a lot but i use them nonetheless so go in that china cabinet drag out those pretty pieces put them together and make you a nice table and invite some friends over or just have family because most of the time when mine was eaten off of it was the family and the kids you know i had to talk them almost into taking them out and helping to put them back in. They didn't like to do it because they, you know, they had to wash them, dry them, then put them away, be careful with them, all that kind of good stuff. But nonetheless, uh, in fact, one of my grandsons said the other day, I took something out of it. He said, wow, you haven't been in there in a long time. I said, well, I do from time to time. But anyway, use the things that you have. Don't do like me, a beautiful set of china that was a great slate gray and cream when I got it back to the States and finally opened it after about five or six years, all of it was broken. Just about every piece was broken. So use your things, enjoy it. Let your family and friends enjoy it. But this is just a way to say bye-bye in that first part of the video to the summer time and hello to the fall. We're almost there, y'all. This is a light fall. Even the weather is almost 20 degrees cooler here today from yesterday and the day before so listen guys thank y'all for dropping by i'll be bringing some more of these table settings to you um uh, just to give you some ideas and hints you know we got thanksgiving will be here before you know it and you know i don't know if you like me i like to do theme things uh as far as uh setting up the table and setting up a room is concerned so think about those things Think about uh, how good God has been to allow you to have these things. So use those things. Celebrate uh, what God has given you and let your friends celebrate with you. Oh, I forgot to talk about my little... The, all this stuff came out of the base exchange itself for that piece. When I first got to North Carolina, I purchased these little apple dessert uh, uh, things here. And they came three to a pack. And, of course, I bought three packs what I used to do, haven't done lately, but it reminded me when I looked in the drawer and found them again, baked apples is what I used to do in these. So bake you some apples. Uh, bake me. I'm going to bake me some apples. I said bake you some apples. If you got little dishes like this, just do different little things with it to make it interesting and to be able to enjoy the things that God has so richly blessed you with. So guys, listen, thank y'all for stopping by. Thank you for your prayers, your comments, and your compliments. And until I decide to do another table setting or put some food together, I want to say to Lou, love you guys. Pray without ceasing. Keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down. To Lou.